We do indeed expect to see cloudy skies today, but also some fairly mild temperatures, and that's helpful when you're trying to plan what you're going to do for the day. So I think you first half of the day better than the back half. Right now we are looking, that was the Humboldt Park Lagoon, by the way, so beautiful and once home of Chance the Snapper, but now we look out over the city and it is a glorious start to the day, nice and clear. We do have wind, calm winds. Uh, humidity right now at about 86%. Feels like temperature very close to the actual temperature, at least at O'Hare. Real-time radar showing some sprinkles back out to the west. None of that, though, is translating eastward into Chicagoland, at least not yet. A look at the real-time radar tracker, though, is going to show quite a bit of cloud cover being picked up by the satellites this afternoon, and then the rain. It starts at about 4 or 5 o'clock with just some scattered showers. Could increase in intensity a touch through the overnight, bringing us the possibility of some heavier rain in the mix, maybe some isolated storms, uh, and some of those could produce a small amount of hail. Storm Prediction Center is saying, you know what, while we don't see anything major tonight, there's a marginal risk of severe storms. That's the lowest level from the Storm Prediction Center in the green shaded zones down around Raleigh, Durham, and North Carolina, but also up here around Chicagoland, and that is for tonight. Now, tomorrow, while our computer model that I just showed you, the radar tracker, didn't pull up any of those storms, Storm Prediction Center has seen the possibility that any storms that do indeed develop tomorrow afternoon after about 3, 4 o'clock could reach strong to severe limits in the yellow shaded zone. So that's uh, south in our area, not very close up into the city or points north, but a little bit more south of I-80. That possibility is there because we have so much warmth in play today and tomorrow as well as again on Wednesday. So we're going to see an active start to the week, but also a very mild start to the week. I'm seeing some cooler temperatures, though, pushing into the weekend and beyond. So while it's above average for the next few days, that will not remain the case.